Do you know that there is only one veterinary college in the whole of West Africa? Yes, and it is found right here in Ghana. We are at an Agri Students Boot Camp organized by Agri House Foundation, where students are camped for a week. They are mentored, they are nurtured, they are motivated in their chosen field of study, which of course is Agri. So I interacted with some of the students, majority are from the crop agribusiness background. Then I ran into this gentleman who told me about his school and how it is the only veterinary college in the whole of West Africa. Stay tuned because as soon as I return, I'm going to introduce Farouk to you, a student of Veterinary College of Ghana. Welcome back. If this is your first time watching us, this is Farming in Africa YouTube channel. We are all about livestock. This is your go-to channel for anything and everything livestock. Also, if you're already a subscriber, I always say you know what to do. Hit the notification button so you don't miss any updates we bring your way. Let me introduce you to a student of the veterinary college, the only veterinary college in the whole of West Africa, and he is called Farouk. Hi, Farouk. Hi, Nadia. How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm good. So I understand your school is the only veterinary school in West Africa. West Africa, yes. But it has actually been upgraded to animal health and production now. So we actually do animal uh, production as well at the veterinary training. Wow. So as it has been upgraded, what is the official name now? I want to learn and be corrected. The official name is now Animal Health and Production College. Animal Health and Production College. Yes. So when we Google Animal Health and Production College, you guys are going to show up. Information is going to be there. Wow, what are some of the courses you do in the school? Um, so we do um, pathology, we do pharmacology, we do um, animal nutrition, wow. we do meat inspection, we do anatomy, yeah. and a host of others. Wow. So basically it's just like going to medical school, but wow. for animals. So are you guys doing six years? We are doing six years. We have um, two programs basically, okay. and uh, there's a two years for a diploma, a certificate, and then a three years for a diploma. So aside animal health and, and production and health, yeah. you could also choose uh, the veterinary laboratory option. Wow. So some are actually studying to be veterinary laboratory technicians. Wow, I love how you guys have dedicated an entire institution to animal husbandry. So anything livestock. Do you do poultry too? Yes, we do ruminant livestock production. We do R ruminants and livestock, livestock production. production. Okay. We do, um, poultry production. We you do, do poultry. Pig, uh, pig production. Pig production. We, yes, we do non-traditional livestock production, which goes uh, with grass cutter, yeah. uh, rabbits, and all those. So wow. we actually look at all animals, including fishery. Wow! And every year, what's the number of your intake of students? Um, I can't speak to that actually, but okay. um, this year we had a, about a thousand students, the current batch that came in. Those wow, about a thousand students. About a thousand students. Yeah. Before I forget, where is the school located? The, loca yeah, the, the location of the school is Pont Tamale. Um, that is off the highway between Tamale and Bolgatanka. Wow. Yeah, so the school was actually founded in 1920. By, yeah, by the uh, colonial government. But it shut down and then it was reopened in 1960 by the Ghanaian government. Yeah. So it's actually been around uh, that long. And when it actually came first, it was the only veterinary school in the whole of Africa. Wow. Yeah, till in this millennia, we had other veterinary schools in other parts of Africa, okay. but still the only one in the whole of West Africa. Still the only one in the whole of West Africa. He's really in a hurry, but I still want to ask him what led him into choosing this school and this passion of field or study you find yourself in? Um, actually, I love animals. Okay. Yeah, my mom is into veterinary, but she soon to uh, the laboratory. She was a lab technician. Wow. So I actually knew a lot about veterinary already. Yeah. But since infancy, I've liked animals and I want to help them the best I can. So that's why I went into Animal Health and Production College. So please, you are in which year at the moment? I'm in level 100. Wow, welcome. <laughs> If there is a student out there watching you who has never even heard of uh, your, your school yeah. or who hasn't even crossed their mind to consider something like this, what would you tell them? Um, I would tell them to choose the best. We are taught by some of the best uh, 
veterinary brains in the country. Um, so they should make their, their choice, uh, their way there. You could go to another institution, but I don't believe you can learn as much as <laughs> we, we do. Marketing is everywhere. He says the school is the best. And I just want to tell you to watch out for a collaboration between farming in Africa and the students doing the ruminant and livestock okay. production. Because you guys know where our passion lies. And yes, we've got a lot coming your way. Fred has been interacting with the students all around. And the impact has been great, the inspiration and everything. Now we've got more light being thrown on livestock. Because I told you earlier here, we met a lot of people from the crop farming background. And yeah, like a tiny fraction coming from the livestock industry. So when I heard of their school, saw some of the students, I was very excited. So Farouk, your last words to us before you leave me and my microphone for this afternoon. I would like to tell you guys to keep doing what you are doing. Um, it's having a lot of impact on uh, those who are not yet in agriculture. And if you haven't subscribed to Farming in Africa channel, what do you want to go do after here? Hit the subscribe button. <laughs> Hit the subscribe button. Thank you and all the best in your studies. Thank you. Guys, we are still changing the narrative and the perception out there and revolutionizing basically the livestock industry in Africa. How would we do that? We do that, one, through education and also through practical training we offer right from our own semencial learning and development farm. Yes, I brought you away today with enough knowledge on the first or the only veterinary college in the whole of West Africa. He said it has been upgraded, so let me leave you with the official current name of the school, Animal what? Animal Health and Production College. Till we come your way next time with another information, impactful content on the livestock industry. It is bye-bye from us to you for now.